live show. Once a week. From 6 to 9 a.m. These are the three hours that energize me for the whole week. I plan the show. All week long. I'll start next week's show as soon as I get home this morning. Try to use the latest technology and that would be digital. I like to start the morning with something on the that's a little bit longer leading up to the six o'clock hour. Today I'm picking a song by Bruce Springsteen recorded live back in uh, 78 called Spirit in the Night. I felt he he did this song much better in the 70s than he did uh, recently. He, he had this little thing in his voice that he doesn't have anymore. <laughs> Good morning. This is WRIU, Kingston. I'm Cyber Larson. I'm with you here from 6 to 9 o'clock this morning. That was Bruce Springsteen, Spirit in the Night, from an early live recording in 78. I think he did this song a lot differently early on than he does it later. And coming up, we've got a couple of cuts by the nice. Going to be a fun morning this morning. 792-9030, our phone numbers. Or if you're out of area, 888-303-9748. Enjoy some nice. The morning has begun. I wanted to be a DJ from the time I was about 14 years old. I listened, to, uh, I did a paper route in the morning, and I loved listening to uh, a guy named Salty Brian. He was just, he was always upbeat, and he was so personable, I felt like he was talking to me. And that's what I wanted to do. And then uh, life got in the way, where you have to get an education and get a job and pay the bills, pay your mortgage, eat. And it became, it, it went to the back seat. And when I lived in, I moved out to Los Angeles, and I actually went to broadcasting school uh, learned tons of stuff about technique, and you can't get a job in radio in L.A. Very tough. You have to go to Boise, and so again, it took a back seat. I, I had to pay bills, pay the mortgage, and it had kind of drifted into the background, and then about two years ago, I was uh, helping a friend of mine 
with some of her computer problems, and Reza is her name, and her boyfriend, Corey, had a radio show here at the University of Rhode Island. And I just mentioned that, I said, oh, I've always wanted to get into radio. And of course, they didn't know that side of me, because our dealings were more about computers and blogs and things of that nature. So, the, uh, so what happened is, I, I, I said that, and then about two weeks later, uh, Reza calls me and said, uh, she goes, I'm sending you an email address, uh, write to this guy, he's, he's working at the station, and uh, he's actually a, uh, in charge of a specialty program. And I did, and over the period of about five months, I got my first gig. I started in May 15th, uh, 2009, and it's just been a joy. Uh, I've, I've had to do like a 3 a.m. shift, and I shifted my whole schedule all week long. I used to get up just in time to go to work. Now I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and prep for the show. And every morning I do a little bit, and it just energizes my day. And that's my passion.